Selective perception is where users interpret media messages based on their already formed opinions and attitudes. Again, people tend to ignore ideas that are communicated that don't necessarily fit into their worldview. Now here we have a simple communication model that describes how communication passes from the sender to the receiver and back. So on the left hand side we have the sender with the message. They transmit it with the encoding process through some form of channel. The receiver decodes that message and provides possibly feedback to the sender. Okay, so this is a very basic communication model, not just pertaining to television communication, but even just a simple conversation. Talking about some more theories of communication, in the 60s we had what was known as cultivation theory, or the thought that TV cultivates viewers' perception of reality. And the gentleman who came up with this was George Gerbner. He said that television can take the place of family, school, or church when it comes to formulating perceptions of reality. This theory takes an all-encompassing look at the power of television to influence people's perceptions, attitudes, and values about the world in which they live. In this theory, again, the, teach, the TV is the teacher of core values and beliefs of a culture. Again, taking the place of possibly family, school, or church when it comes to teaching core values. Another theory was that of social learning theory and saying that learning takes place from observing and modeling behavior of others. It suggests that much learning takes place through that observation and then turning around and mimicking that behavior. And so TV could be a source of the behavior that is observed and mimicked. It can affect people learning how to wear a new fashion or how to respond to someone who makes some, uh, a person angry. And it, of course it has been extensively applied to TV violence to explain how perhaps children learn very violent behaviors uh, watching violent programs. And this is, these are just theories, I'm just throwing these out here. Uh, that particular theory was developed by a gentleman named Albert Bandura. Now in agenda setting, the media or TV tells us maybe not so much what to think, but what to think about. So what's on TV or other media such as cable, satellite, the internet, especially the internet, becomes the issues that we care about. It concentrates, this theory concentrates primarily on the power of news media in particular to determine what issues people think about. And what issues are important to their community and personal well-being. Now, we talked a little bit about gatekeepers and how, how it pertained to those who control what is broadcast. Well, in this case, gatekeepers talks more about those who must decide what makes it on TV, especially in news, such as directors, editors, and program directors. And in this case, unless the gatekeepers put a story on TV or some other kind of media and it becomes part of the agenda, we are unlikely to know about it. So not necessarily telling us what to think, but what to think about. And that is the end of the first lecture. In the next lecture, we're going to be looking at violence in media and some of the impact on children.